Flipping CSGO skins is without a doubt the most efficient, fastest, and most profitable way to make money in CSGO, especially nowadays with the market flooded with tons of players that are willing to spend thousands on the game since the economy is really well established and people consider skins actual collector's items and not just funny pixels on your screen that someone magically give a value to. But Either way, today let's talk about how to profit from flipping CSGO skins, whether you're on a low budget or you're a lottery winner. This video will help you. So as always, if you do enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And just before we get into it, check out the sponsor, Skin Club. Skin Club is a CSGO case opening site with over 100 unique cases, a battle game mode, and as always, my personal favorite with much better odds than the CSGO case opening system, the upgrade system. Today, I traded up my AK Asimov to a nice little op wildfire at a 70% chance and thankfully hit it. A nice easy $13 profit. And of course, it's all completely provably fair so you know you're not getting ripped off. So be sure to sign up to Skin Club today with that link at the top of the description and get a 7% bonus on your first deposit. Also, of course, be 18 or older if you want to use Skin Club and gamble responsibly. But for now, let's get right into the video. So first of all, I just want to go over the cheap option to flip skins for a profit at a really low price. This can be used for either just Steam balance, whether you want to buy a game on Steam or just get more balance to buy stuff in game or whatever, and also a good way to snipe skins for cheap as well. But let's start with Steam balance, and it's going to be a really simple method called literally just waiting for your buy orders to hit, but there's certain ways to extort it to make more money out of it. And Specifically, when there's an event on Steam like the summer sale, when a major or an operation comes around, or when Russia decides to crash their entire economy, you can definitely profit from this. But buy orders on Steam are really simple. Go to a skin you want, click buy order, set the price you want to buy it and how many of these skins or cases or whatever, and then the order will get filled if someone lists it at that price. Then you pretty much just have to wait, but it's a very easy way to flip skins by doing this and it's very profitable, especially when a new operation comes. Just look at the dip of the butterfly knife when Operation Riptide got released, and it's not just expensive skins either. Everything on the market gets destroyed when the new operation gets released, especially cases. Last time, breakout cases just went through this absolutely absurd dip, like over 20% in just a day's time. So if you either have your Steam wallet ready or buy orders ready, you can make a lot of money and just flip those cases for easily like 15% profit in a few weeks time. So placing buy orders can help you get a ton of money and get some really easy flips in just a few weeks or a few days time depending on what you get your hands on. But the downside is you definitely have to be patient with them and you kind of have to wait for an event on Steam to come around so people are selling their skins for cheaper unless you get really lucky. But let's talk about something where you don't necessarily have to get lucky from but you do have to put some time in for it. And that's going to be flipping cheap skins with real money. This is where things can get a little bit more complicated and where you might have spent quite a bit of extra money to turn a profit compared to just placing a few dollar buy orders. One tactic you can use if you want Steam balance that isn't hard at all is buying liquid skins on a third party site like Buff, Skinport, something like that. Usually they're the cheapest on Buff and I'll talk about how to get Buff balance a bit later in this video but for example if you want to buy an M9 Doppler on Buff you can get one right now for 461 bucks. Well, they're currently going for 632 on the Steam market. After Steam fees, selling at $632 will get you 550. So you just get a really easy and completely free $82 on your Steam wallet rather than just depositing that money straight into Steam. You're depositing it into Buff, sort of, I'll get into that later once again, but you're getting an M9 for much cheaper on Buff and then putting it on Steam and getting your free $82 that way. Obviously, you don't have to spend 600 whatever dollars for it. You can do it with much cheaper skins, but you get the point. It's pretty much free money. And this is really good if you want to stock up on sticker capsules next major, buy operation stars, stuff like that. And if you do use it to buy sticker capsules, for example, you can then resell those for more than you bought them for a few weeks later, assume the investment goes well, and you will not only make a really significant amount of money, but you got way more bang for your buck because you got free money by just going in the buff first and then selling your skin on the Steam market. But all of that is pretty much just for Steam balance, which I mean, you can eventually turn into real money, obviously, but there's a lot more steps. So let's kind of dumb it down and see how can you go from real money to real money without having to go through Steam fees at all. And the way you could do this to flip skins really quickly with third party sites is literally just browsing by skins with the highest discount or best value, setting your price range and going from there. 
for example, just after like two minutes of looking there, there was a sale of a field tested Karambit Forest DD pet for $216 yesterday, and the very next day, one was sold for $257. After Skinport's 12% fee, you'd still end up with $10 profit from that, unless you want to hold onto the skin as an investment for longer, which also isn't a bad move either, but what I'm saying is, it's not hard at all to find deals like this, especially on Skinport, which is where I've been looking at deals for quite a while now, and actually, I bought one of these Karambas for right around buff price as well. And I plan on holding it for probably a year's time and then selling it then, but point is, I got it at a good price and I'm going to be flipping it eventually. But once again, this is something where you're kind of going to have to get lucky, see if somebody's selling something for around buff price or cheaper than it, and then you have to flip it. If it's a stat track knife, it's a pain to flip. There's certain items that are just hard to sell. So this is going to bring me to my last strategy to making money from flipping and that's going to be buying high tier items, often from really notable traders or people just quick selling skins. And oftentimes it's going to be on buff and involving buff balance. Even though high tier buyers and sellers have to make their money, there's plenty of opportunities to flip for a profit as well. For example, Anomaly just posted a few days ago that he was selling a lot of skins and buff balance for crypto. Tons of high tier knives, gamma dopplers, sapphires, rubies, stuff that's easy to flip and he's also selling for cheaper than buff price. So you do make guaranteed profit on it if you end up selling it on buff and you get it for a fair price. So buying high tier skins like this can get you some really easy flips really quickly as well and here's how. Literally this morning, I bought one of Anomaly's Fuel Tester Dragon Lords for 97% of buff price. So 3% under the cheapest listing on buff already, which turned out to be $3,936. Now, I could easily go on another site like CSGO Float, which only charges a 2% sale fee, and sell a Dragon Lord on there with the cheapest listed is $4,151. I don't know why people are paying that price over there, but they are. Plenty have been selling at around the $4,100 range, so whether it's because people just can't get buff balance or they just want to waste extra money, I have no clue. But either way, if I sell it for $4,100 on there after fees and everything, that's an easy $82 profit. Pretty much no work done on my end besides buying something and selling something. It's that easy. But personally, I really don't care for $82 since I think this thing will be better long term and I can make a much bigger profit from it. But it just conveys the point that Buying under buff price is a really easy way to flip skins right away, especially if you've got money to spend, and buying from big traders is especially an easy way to do it if you know somebody that's selling under buff price. There's plenty of people other than Anomaly as well on Twitter, I'd absolutely recommend just going on there to get started, get to know the community if you want to get involved in high tier trading, and you'll meet a ton of cool traders that want to make money and you can make money with it as well. But aware because most of the time you are going to have to pay first so you do have to make sure you're dealing with somebody trusted with a good cash rep and usually followed by tons of other traders and known well by the community usually just make sure it's somebody that has traded with all the top guys before and not just some rando because there is people that scam you but if you know the right people to go to, you won't get scammed at all. But one final thing, since I've mentioned buff balance a lot in this video, getting it can be a real pain sometimes if you don't know anyone selling it. Since buff is a Chinese website, they don't have the normal ways of depositing money. They only have Alipay, I don't know, Huibi, I think that's how you say it, and WeChat Pay. So three methods I definitely don't have access to in the US. And if you don't have access to them either, you're gonna have to go through the same process of getting buff balance through sellers. I find them all on Twitter. Anomaly said he's selling his buff balance as well and can just buy stuff on buff for people as well. So that works even better. I know Smuya the other day said he was selling some buff balance as well. I'm pretty sure Zipple usually is as well, but it might be only amounts of like 10,000 yen or over, which is 1500 USD. But either way, those are all the ways I recommend flipping skins for profit in 2022. You do kind of have to know some people or just take a lot of time to do it, but it depends. If you find the right things, you can easily make some money. And if you've got a big budget, you can very easily make some flips as well. But if not, feel free to just put your buy orders on Steam and wait. Be patient, wait for that next major, that next operation, and then get some easy Steam balance. But either way, if you ever want to buy something I own or sell me something for crypto, I'll happily take a look as well. Just shoot me a message over on Twitter and I'll respond to it there. But either way, I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. So as always, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And check out the homies over at Skin Club as well. But for now, I'll see you guys next one. Peace.